What up guys? So in this video I'm going to show you how we can use a 55 gallon drum to um, to be able to use it as a buffer tank. You could use this as a pond um, filter. There's all kind of stuff you can use this for and basically we have a uniseal here. It comes with the drill bit or you'll have to buy the drill for it or you'll have to make sure you got the right size for it to go in there and we will you can put this in a drum now if we're going to use this for a buffer tank what we would have to do is really we would want a, a 55 gallon drum that has the top lid that screws on now with that being said is this the way we could probably put a Hudson float valve in here well, probably if you cut out a hole and try to put some braces it would probably work enough to get it to work for you. Um, the great thing about these are is, you know, you can buy these 55 gallon drums anywhere for five bucks, 10 bucks free. Um, if you look on Marketplace, you look on Craigslist, you can get these 55 gallons next to nothing. So I'm gonna show you, and, and you know, you might say, how much can I run off this buffer tank? I can run an eight gallon a minute off this buffer tank. Cause you gotta remember, five gallons of water is going to be able i'm going to be able to start pumping you know you got a big tote it's going to take a lot more water for you to even start so unless you're planning on carrying water all the time this could be a great way um, you could actually if you have an indoor enclosed trailer um, you could actually use two 55 gallon drums one for soap one for water and it will work perfect in just the way you want to so the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to flip it over here and we're going to take our drill bit right here and like I say we don't we don't want to get too I mean we're going to get kind of close to the bottom but we don't want to get where it's going to not seal it so we want to make sure we're up far enough um, and we're going to screw it or drill it here and you can see it didn't let me go on through once we get it drilled take me a towel or something here give me all the crap off here this would be another reason why we would want to screw on lid is to make sure that we don't get a bunch of garbage down in that barrel. The next thing we're going to do is, is we got to put this right here in there. So we're just going to slide that right in there like so, just like that. And then what we want to do is, is we're going to take some Dawn dish detergent and we're going to lube it up a little bit. Just to make that nice and slick. We don't need a lot. And then we're going to take a, so this is for an inch and a half um, pipe. Inch and a half pipe is what we're going to use. And when we get this, we're going to cut our pipe off here. And we might want to take a file and kind of file this down a little bit. So that way it's not um, square cut like this and have a chance of not getting down in there. Now, this is where you kind of got your man pants on in there. You may want to mark kind of just so you know how far you're getting it in there. We don't have to get it all the way in. I mean, we could go all the way in. Um, you know, we could go halfway in, um, but this is gonna keep it from leaking. So once we seal that up there like so, we're gonna take our pipe here and slide that bad boy in. And that's all we got. And that right there, you can see it's pretty tight. It's tight this way, and this will keep us from leaking here. Um, I do have some stuff in there. I don't want to get it out too much, but you can see that that's going to work perfect and it'll even pull up a little bit. This is called a uniseal, and this is a great way, like I say, that if we want to make a buffer tank out of a 55 gallon drum, this is how we can do it um, on reasonably cheap price. So, like I said, I do have stuff in there. Hopefully, it ain't above my pipe and get it on there. You can see it's not leaking out through it. Um, obviously, I don't have enough to be in the pipe right there. Um, but that is how a uniseal works, how we can make a buffer tank out of this. Like I say, we could, I could even do it out of this tank. I could take and cut a square out right here, cut out my hole for my hut and float valve, and then what I could do is, is uh, just sit there, put it in there, um, and then if I had to maybe get a... A piece of metal on each side where I could screw it in there and then I could even do bolts and stuff on one side bolts and stuff on the other side and then just screw some screws in there and this would keep my um, Hudson float valve the other good thing if I cut a hole in there I can clean out all the crap that gets in there 
Um, and these barrels, you can actually clean out with a, um, you can clean out with a, um, you can actually cut it real terribly easy with a, a drywall saw because it's got them big teeth. And once you get it poked down in there, you can just cut this right out with the drywall saw. You can tell it's not very thick up here, so it's very easily to do that. But again, I just wanted to show you, I've had a lot of people ask me how I can make a cheap buffer tank instead of, you know, a lot of your buffer tanks, that buffer tank there is a 65 gallon. I think it's like $159, $189. Um, you get some, and then you, if you got to pay shipping, you're going to pay another $300 for shipping air. So you can get into a lot of money just into a buffer tank. So this is a way I can make a 55 gallon buffer tank. The other good thing about this is it's kind of um, compact and high. So then that way I'm not having so much of a bigger trailer. So even if I got a smaller um, enclosed trailer, I can make this work for that. If you have a pond, that's what DJ uses these for. Puts them in this pond and they work good for that too. Um, all I'd have to do next is, is cut off my pipe, glue me on whatever I want to go to next, and I can, there I am, I'm ready to go. Um, I can put me a T in there, T it off for my pipe, T it off for my dump valve, the whole nine yards. This is just a way to make a, um, a 55 gallon drum useful and be able to um, have a buffer tank or a water tank with a hole out of the bottom of it. Thanks for watching. If you want to build out this trailer or see how this trailer is built, Check this playlist right up here, and I will have, I built this whole trailer. I'm in the process of building it, um, and you will see everything. If you want to buy this trailer and it hasn't been sold yet, um, hit me up, and I'll let you know about this trailer because it will be for sale.